You're watching KDK TV 2 Pittsburgh. Evening Magazine, meet O'Brien and Gary, the drive-time jocks from HTX Radio. Television made this group a rock and roll sensation, and now the monkeys are back in the business, on TV and in concert. And play ball in Japan, where the favorite player is an American. Welcome to a special edition of Evening Magazine as we continue our week of spending time with Pittsburgh's best morning men. I'm Liz Miles, and tonight my special guest hosts are O'Brien and Gary from WHTX Radio. John Burnett is on assignment this week, and O'Brien and Gary are filling in. Not only are they going to host the show with me, but they have promised to share with all of us some of their best recipes for summer barbecue. That's going to be happening in just a few minutes. But right now, before we let them start cooking, we thought you'd all like to take a look at the men behind the microphone. This is the condensed saga of two big kids, Larry O'Brien and John Gary. They've been friends for 25 years and a team for 11 years. Today, you can sample their teamwork mornings on WHTX-FM when they turn Pittsburgh Radio into an electronic adventure of the mind. And now, the Allison Park Association of Good Eggs and Affable Chaps presents... Who loves you, baby? Lieutenant Macho! Lieutenant Macho, the perfect prototype of today's no-nonsense, big-city, masculine cop person. O'Brien and Gary have nothing but the deepest respect for one another. Well, I would hope that's the least he could do, especially a man of his limited gifts and abilities. I don't respect Larry, no. But uh, he respects me, and he should. <laughs> because I'm the creative part of the broadcast, and he just comes along. They also believe they stand out among all the other morning DJs. We're sparkling and interesting and bright, and informative, hip, contemporary, and they're a pack of slobs, frankly. It's true. Ooh! Ooh. Lieutenant Macho! Hey, uh, Brucey, what's the matter with you? Oh, I... I guess I'm just some sort of cosmic miscalculation. Yeah, that was oh. my Now, too. believe it or not, uh, these men have family. John Gary is particularly is proud of his brood. Well, uh, Tharp. Yes. I have uh, a wife and three or four kids. Four. Four kids. All boys. Each of them eats more than the other two. And then I have a 16-year-old who's just entered into the shark stage. He eats drapes, pillows, cheeseburgers. Went after the dog the other day. So. Larry O'Brien and his actress wife, Winky, met doing lady commercials, and they still work together. Good morning, sir, and welcome to Frederick Computer Products. I want to buy a lamp. I like men who are funny. I think most women do. I think funny men are very attractive. <laughs> no. uh, I think that he I respects my no sense lamp. of comedy, especially if it's, a, if it's a funny spot. And I certainly do respect his sense of comedy. But perhaps their greatest shared passion is for puppies, like O'Brien's nine-year-old basset hound, Sweet Pea. Now, both Larry and John admit that the dog's performance is better than their great TV debut, the O'Brien Gary Friday Night Electric Video Show. Neither one of us knew anything about the videos we were playing. We hardly knew the groups. It was awful. It was just beneath contempt. It's terrible. I couldn't even look at it. It was oh. Yes, they've been through the best and the worst together, and that's how they like it. I am the only friend he has. And, uh, of course I feel sorry for him. Would I consider another partner after all these years? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, Dolly Parton. And now, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye! <laughs> goodbye! 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 So there you have the men behind the microphones, and here you have the men at the barbecue. John and Larry, you really do barbecue together, I hear. Sure. Larry yeah. barbecues. What you have to remember is Larry gets up in the morning and gargles with hydrochloric acid. <laughs> and then he puts it in his barbecue yeah. sauce. These are perfectly safe as long as you line your, uh, your mouth with, uh, oh, vinyl would be good. And this is your very own barbecue sauce, right? Yes, it is. 
I have What's a... What's in it? Well, there's the usual Tabasco. Hydrochloric acid. Yeah, right, we know about that. Uh, liquid smoke and vinegar, brown sugar, and this little dandy, which is uh, for the outer bridges no. of uh, Bermuda. And Are you it's, serious? Yeah. Yeah? It's Outer Bridges Full Hot Mustard Sauce. Yeah. Well, so you guys remember the monkeys back when they were hot, right? Hey, yeah. hey, would no. That's right. That's <laughs> no. them. And Is that close? They, they're uh, they're going to be on our show next, and you're going to have a chance to uh, give me your opinions on the monkeys, I think. I haven't seen the monkeys in a long time. Yeah, well, you're about to. You just go right. monkey around sometimes, huh? <laughs> we'll be back <laughs> with the monkeys and with O'Brien and Gary. Stay with us. Geauga Lake, Geauga Lake, and all we ever really wanted to do was bring out the kid in you. Bring your kid's imagination to life at all new Rainbow Island. Some new cops are back on the block. Very well put. Television's funniest man in blue. Does anybody care? We care. We don't we care. We care. They're on the job. I want either of you to take any unnecessary risks. Uh, maybe you should go first. Fighting crime with fun. It's okay with us. It's Barney Miller and the whole 12th Precinct. Now weeknights at 11.30 on KDKA TV 2. Tonight at 10, the exciting CBS News Magazine West 57 features in-depth reporting on today's top stories at 10 on KDKA TV 2. Evening Magazine presents the results of tonight's Pennsylvania Lottery Drawing. Back in February, MTV started rerunning the old Monkees TV show. Right. And that started a real comeback drive for them. And today, the monkeys are performing in Pittsburgh in kind of yes. a reunion tour. What do you think of that? Well, you know what's interesting? There are several things about the monkeys that are interesting. One is that when they first started out, there was only one true musician out of the four of them. And when they first made their first tour, yeah. the others couldn't play. And the fans were very disappointed because on the TV show, they played. The music was they dubbed did. in. Uh -huh. For they example, if Larry instrument. and I talk now, only yeah. one of us is actually talking. Oh, what about really? Cleveland? The one, the other one is I can't even in tell which one. <laughs> terrible accident with a blender years ago. <laughs> oh, no. But they did do the first <laughs> music one? videos, right? Yes, they I did. I mean, they can claim Tooth that. Known. All yeah. right. Yes. Well, if that's piqued your interest right now, we're going to take a look at the Monkeys reunion. In 1966, the Monkees caught the last train to Clarksville, the first in a long string of hit songs. And over the next two years, they sold more records than the Beatles and the Rolling Stones combined. Now, 20 years later, Monkey Mania is once again sweeping the country, and the fans are going bananas. They were screaming and yelling and weeping. Were you surprised? A little, yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, I expected I'm, I'm grandparents gonna... tapping their canes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Leakies. No, it was... <laughs> oh, isn't it wonderful? Remember, Ellie, when we saw them? At the, the it's been quite a very pleasant surprise, yes. You know, it's all in good fun. That's all part of it. I mean, they don't actually grab you and tear a piece of your face off. They just want to hug or kiss or touch, and, you know, it's just... It's nice. And that kind of... That kind of thing to me is just sort of like it's unbelievable here we come walk down the street we get the funniest looks from everyone we meet hey hey we're the monkeys the monkeys included davy jones mickey dolans mike nesmith and peter tork me, I was just a devoted fan, one of millions in more than 30 countries. <laughs> to 
despite their string of top 40 hits, critics refused to take their musical ability seriously, and the monkeys were subjected to many rumors. Monkey mystery number one. Did they play their own music? There was two actors and two musicians, and we ended up as four actors and four musicians. We had over 200 live appearances on the stage. I'm not saying we were great musicians. In fact, when we played the national anthem, people from every country stood up, so it was a bit shaky. Monkey mystery number two. Did they write their own songs? The Monkeys was put together by great songwriters, Carol King, Neil Diamond, Harry Nielsen, Neil Sedaka, Tommy Boyce, Bobby Hart, Carol Bayer Sega, Libran Stoller, Barry Mann, Cynthia Wilde, Bloomingdale's, Macy's, Gimbal. I mean, there were so many people wrote these tunes. Monkey mystery number three. They don't sing their own songs. It's not true. The monkeys have sing to tapes, you know. Not true. Um, there is, at the, this is the disgrace to rock and roll, the reporters wrote. Disgrace to rock and roll? Are you joking? This is not brain surgery. You know, this, this is just fun. Then I saw her face. Now, they are reunited again, but this time without the fourth monkey, Mike Nesmith, who's too busy producing films to tour with them. I'm quite disappointed that there's not four of us, so that the, the people that have supported us and the new people that have seen us now can't see that. But it honestly doesn't make any difference to the live performance that we're doing now. Three monkeys is better than... No monkeys at all. 20 years from now, will there be a 40th reunion? Who knows? Uh, as long as the spring's still in the step and the excitement's still there with the guys, we'll be seeing you. We may be coming to your town. Boom. of you who are monkey fans you may already know that the monkeys tv show is in reruns here in pittsburgh every afternoon at 2 30 on channel 53. Ooh. and for those of you who are potato salad fans john gary is going to prepare his very own recipe for us it goes with larry o'brien's ribs which are on the grill do you, don't you well, want me to do my richard lou what is your richard lou Take that, you Yankee Doodle dog. Oh. Every morning. <laughs> every morning, sit and listen to this, and people wonder why I have a, a tick. <laughs> the most important thing about potato salad, Liz, yes. here, <laughs> what? is we have, we have the all fact these. that the potatoes are unpeeled. And red potatoes. Yes, you never peel a potato. Never. All you the see, vitamins leave. Well, the skin only constitutes about 1% of it, so uh -huh. why bother with it? In order to peel it, you have to lose about 8% of the potato. Are you paying attention to this? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, these are uh, little celery guys here. Uh -huh. These are little bacon bits. Oh, that's a nice yeah. addition. Oh, my God. <laughs> How do you get in there? Uh, <laughs> this is the nice dressing, which is composed of, uh, oh, mayonnaise and some sugar and some salt and little black things. I forgot what those are. Pepper. Maybe pe pepper. pepper. <laughs> Must be pepper. Yeah. Let's hope it's pepper. Let's hope it's pepper. And now the onions, which you're holding in your left hand. There. That's right. Liz, so you can I put those these? right in there All if you right. like to. Isn't this fun? I like it. If it, ex it exploded one time on us here, so I hope that doesn't happen this time. <laughs> now you just sort of scrunch it all together, and there's nothing really that spectacular about it, except, as I said, the potatoes are not peeled. Coming up next on Evening Magazine, we have a great spectator sport that is number one in Japan, and also in your book, I understand. Mm. Baseball is next. Stay with us. Hi, Ernie. Hi, Ernie. Hey, you're a cookie. A brand new Keebler cookie named E.L. Fudge. That's E as in everybody, L as in loves, Fudge. Pleased to meet you. Rich, buttery shortbread cookies shaped like an elf, then dipped in smooth, creamy fudge. Everybody's gonna love E.L. Fudge. I never met an elf with cookie I didn't like. That's E as in everybody, L as in loves, Fudge. New E.L. Fudge cookies from Keebler. You'll love them. Kennywood's rides are so much fun, once you get on, you won't want to get off. Get me off of this thing! Kennywood Park. Ride on. And on. And on. And on. Get a reduced price on pay one base day tickets every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday through July and August at Kennywood. If you're one of the 10 million people troubled by bladder or bowel control problems, colostomy or ileostomy, here's something you should know. 
Now you can get effective deodorant protection simply by taking these tablets. New Nalo deodorant tablets. Taken as directed, Nalo tablets safely and effectively provide the deodorant protection you need. So try new Nalo deodorant tablets. Deodorant protection that really works. <laughs> summer of hot savings. Shop for the difference at Shop and Save. Stock up on pure sweet sugar, just 99 cents. The new one-pound brick pack of Folgers Coffee, regular, ABC, or electric perk, only $2.69. Minute Maid was an orange juice, only $1.19 for 16 ounces. And buy one half gallon of delicious Borden's LC ice cream, get the second one free. Shop for the Our next story tonight, we planned just for the two of you, because we heard that you were both real baseball fans. Is that right? Well, not exactly. I'm a fan. He's the expert. Really? Yeah, do sure. You, do you play? No, oh, not anymore. Are you kidding? But you did. I did when I was a kid. Yeah? yeah. Larry, uh, Larry's expertise goes a long way. For example, he explained to me the other day where Stan Musial's real first name is Laverga. And I, had, and I didn't know that. <laughs> right. Don't you remember? Listen. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. Well, you're talking about the American baseball player in Japan. Yeah. There was only one Japanese baseball player that played here in the States. Who was that? Masanori Murakami. That's true. He That's knows true. that. He was yeah. a pitcher I'm never sure. Yeah. I've seen him play. Yeah. Well, right now we are going to meet one American player in Japan who is really doing well. His name is Randy Bass. Three years ago, Randy Bass gave up a mediocre career in the American Major Leagues and headed for Japan. In six years at home, he played for five different teams and was looking for a second chance. And he found it with the Hanshin Tigers. Today, at 31, he's earned the respect of the Tigers' management, the devotion of their fans, and an annual income of close to a million dollars. But that's just part of life on the field. To really get to know the players and the game in Japan, You've got to join the crowd. Sure, they sell beer and hot dogs in the stands, but you can also get a sushi box lunch. And how about some dried squid in between innings? And this green drink? Cream soda. And it must be that green stuff that gets those fans going, because they've got a brand of baseball enthusiasm that's hard to beat. It's like a college football game. You know, they're into every pitch. They they chant, they say yells all the way through the game. You know, they watch the game like they're part of the game. And in the early going, there was plenty to cheer about tonight for the Tiger fans. But by the top of the ninth inning, the Tigers are down by eight runs. And so with one out, they look to their star slugger for inspiration and maybe his first home run of the season. good for an easy double. However, that won't be enough for tonight's game. The next two Tiger batters ground out, and that's the ball game. For the Swallows fans, it's been a great night. For Randy Bass, not too bad either. No home runs, but he did hit three doubles. And after all, he's also one more game closer to home. I'm gonna try to play at least two more years over here, and after that, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna try and go back home. I bought a farm in Oklahoma thanks to Japan, you know, and uh, I have some racehorses and I throw bread horses and I'm gonna go back and race horses. In the meantime, though, you'll be able to see Randy at field throughout Japan playing outstanding baseball for the Hanshin Tigers and for some of the world's greatest fans. Well, to give you an idea of just what kind of stature Randy Bass has. Oh, and, that's uh, enough coffee for me. <laughs> in, 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 yes. Japan, in Japan, you know that Babe Ruth had a candy bar named after him in this country. Uh -huh. Over there, Randy Bass had a Japanese snack named after him, but it was dried fish. They named a candy bar after Larry. Uh -huh. Did they? Jagnut. Did they? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We're going to be back with more. We want you to stay with us. We're going to taste all of this great-looking food. 
All right, come in. Have a, s s a seat. And what can I do for you? A loan? A loan? A loan? Thousand dollars? Five thousand dollars? Five thousand dollars? We'll need collateral. Go to most places to borrow money, and instead of service, you'll get lip service. Collateral. Have a seat. Have a seat. But at Commercial Credit, we'll tell you right up front, you can borrow $3,000 for just $94.35 a month with no collateral. Come in, have a, s -s 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 a seat. And what can I do for you? A loan? So what'll it be, lip service or real service from Commercial Credit? We're up front, fair, plain talking. Take a left lift from the past. The old favorites just seem to last. Look what happened to way back when. Now everything old is new again. Good things never go out of style. Like sugar-free Country Time lemonade-flavored drinks with 100% Nutrisweet. Country Time's not too tart, not too sweet. Mmm, tastes like good old-fashioned lemonade without the sugar. Old-fashioned taste is new again. The all-new Ohio Pass, the coupon magazine that sends you all over Ohio with money-saving Ohio Pass coupons. And the all-new Phone First Service Guide, complete with addresses and phone numbers of places you'll need on your trip. For your free Ohio Pass coupon magazine, with cities close to $2,000, just call 1-800-BUCKEYE and plan your getaways in Ohio. <laughs> Protein stains, when they're ground in, soaked through, you need more power to cut through. The protein power of new Era Plus. This tough grass stain is made of protein, and protein gets out protein. Now Era has more power to even cut through the ground in dirt below. Nothing gets out every stain, but now there's new Era Plus. Protein power to cut clean through. Well... Everything is as good as it looks. Well, thank you. It's wonderful. Thank you. <clears throat> One thing, we forgot the capers and potato salad. We did. There are need, capers in the potato salad. You need at least six or seven. Six or seven. Guys. All right. And it I toned the wonderful. sauce down for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't do really hot very well. But this is delicious. Thank you. Good Not job. Bad. Good job. You like the potato salad is extraordinaire, I think you agree. Yes, that's the worst true. potato salad, folks, <laughs> trust us. <laughs> While we enjoy all of this wonderful food, we want you to enjoy the sounds of a local group that is really doing quite well They're called Kids After Dark.
If you would like to catch Kids After Dark live, give us a call at 566-ASAP and we'll tell you where they're performing. And if you would like an O'Brien and Gary picnic, minus the people themselves, we can give you their recipes for the baby back ribs and the potato salad extraordinaire. Yeah. Just send us a self-addressed stamped envelope and we'll send that off to you. Liz, you Westinghouse. work here at Channel 2. Uh, is that John Cigna? Is, does he wear a wig? Does he wear a wig? Could <laughs> <laughs> um, you find out? I, c I could try to find out. Like, I'd like to know. I'll let you know Fine. privately. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. It was Thank terrific you for having, having us. you. You do a great picnic. You can invite me anytime. All right. Tomorrow night. Can we have your house? <laughs> <laughs> well, only if you'll cook for me every okay. night. It's all right. A deal. Tomorrow night we are continuing our week with uh, the Morning Men of Pittsburgh, and tomorrow night taking O'Brien and Gary's place, we'll have. Um, who are we having tomorrow night? Oh. I have no idea. Fine, another disc jockeys tomorrow night. That's right. Use this precious. Uh, Jimmy and Steve are tomorrow night. They have nothing interesting to say. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Coming up next, Alex's love life is crumbling due to an extra heavy workload on Foley Square, next on KDKA TV 2. From Eyewitness News, this is Newsbreak. In the news, a report comes out on pornography in America, and Pittsburgh is ahead of the times. The monkeys are in Pittsburgh tonight, and we'll be there. And we can look forward to a nice day tomorrow. And bliss-induced flying. It's all coming up tonight on the Update Report. Idlewild Park's a family place for peaceful walks in the woods, crazy crawls through billions of balls, and fun times with storybook friends. But if you think Idlewild Park's just for families with little kids, you're all wet. Because now, Idlewild Park's got the H2O Zone, a wild, wet, wonderful place. There are fast shoots, twists and slides, and a big pool will be the splash hit of your summer. Idlewild Park, this summer it's really something for everyone. Hey, cola lovers, you'll love this. Now there's cherry cola slice with 10% juice. We got the juice, we got the twist. Cherry cola slice, we got the cherry.